What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas and in this one I'm going to show you some tricks I do to keep my Mac running like new. There are four things I do regularly to maintain OS X. These are also things I complete every time Apple pushes out a system update. So if you find your Mac running sluggish, try doing some, if not all, of these tricks. The first thing I do is emptying the system cache. While Finder is selected, click Go. We need to navigate to the system library, but the library is hidden from us in this dropdown. That's not a problem. While you have the Go menu open, go ahead and hit the Option key on your keyboard. It will manually unhide your system library folder. If you let go of the option, it will hide itself again. Within library, we're looking for the folder named Caches. I've seen my Caches folder grow to many gigabytes in size, especially if you work in Adobe After Effects. You can check the size of your folder by hitting Command plus I. I do it every time so I can see how much space is being taken up in storage. Before emptying the folder, make sure to quit all running and active applications. While Caches is selected, hit command A then command delete from there empty the trash by hitting shift command and delete you're more than likely to be prompted to continue because some of the cache files are still in use now that that's complete uh, go ahead and open your trash and select the leftover files uh, right click or control click and select put back that will restore the files that are still in use in the caches folder all right, the next thing I do is run disk utility and complete a permissions repair. This is pretty self-explanatory, as I'm sure most of you have done this once or twice before. To launch disk utility, I use Spotlight, Command, and Space, then begin to type disk utility, and it's one of the top hits under Applications. If you're running a Fusion Drive or any type of RAID, I recommend running a verified disk every once in a while just to make sure your disks are still in good standing. We won't do that here. Select the volume in which OS X is installed, not the drive. You'll know you have the right item selected because the disk repair permissions will become available. Go ahead and click that. It will begin to execute. Keep in mind, this may take a while to complete and it's perfectly fine to continue working on your system, although you may experience some delays. The last thing I do within OS X is re-index Spotlight. This will improve your search function as Spotlight indexes your system as it is currently. This will improve OS X's search and location functions as Spotlight indexes your system as it stands currently. Some files get moved, changed, or replaced. This will help Spotlight perform searches and locate necessary files for application launches quicker throughout your system, in turn, improving performance. To do this, launch System Preferences. In System Preferences, locate Spotlight, then select the Privacy tab. From there, we want to add a volume here, so click the little Addition button. For good measure, select the disk in which all files are located. You will be prompted by OS X to approve the addition. Click OK and close System Preferences. Now, reopen System Preferences. Navigate to Spotlight, then Privacy once more. Select the disk you hid from the search and remove it from the list. By clicking the minus button, Spotlight will immediately begin re-indexing that entire volume. This also has the potential to take a long time to complete. That's why it's a good idea to do this regularly. And to put a close to all this maintenance that we've done up until this point, shut down your Mac. We're going to reset the PRAM. This is not necessarily required for a performance boost, therefore you can skip this one if you want. I do it for good measure, especially, as I said before, for when Apple pushes out system updates. To accomplish this, your Mac should be powered down. Power it on again, but before pressing down the power button, make sure you're ready to hold Command, Option, P, and R on your keyboard all at once. Let it cycle at least three chimes. After the second chime, you can let go of the keyboard combination and boot into your system as you normally would. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. I value your feedback, so feel free to comment and ask questions as well. After you're done liking, disliking, commenting, or sharing, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. In addition to that, check out my channel. If you like what you've seen here and what you've seen on my channel, you're more than welcome to subscribe. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Take care.